It is a lightweight title fight between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Justin Gaethje. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155 pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Gaethje is one year the elder. Oliveira will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 32 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles de Bronx. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the. Oh! Punch is blocked. 
right hand punch from the clinch. Ooh. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Go finish his fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice job. Oh, nice to take down and scramble to his feet. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. There. He's finding consistency because he knows. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. And they separate. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that check. 27 total strikes now for Justin Gaethje. And they separate. Big ball from Crush Lance. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice advance there by Gaethje. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent tonight. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face, constantly making you work, making you feel like there is no place to go. Oh. oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Side control now. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Gaethje. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oliveira is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crap... I mean, he's walking the arm over. Oh, he's attacking choke now. It looks like he's trying to attack a windshield choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight off, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. 
he's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. A beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in his technique. Oh! Gaethje's got the full mount. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh! Oh, oh man, that was slick. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard, and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big grounded pound. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Look at him attacking that guillotine. Okay. Now he can escape. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Versus position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Both fighters back to their feet now. With all the full arsenal on. All right, fighting out of the clinch here. And not for long. Nice trip to get the takedown. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile. And they can do these takedowns in so many ways. You saw it in a full display right there with that trip. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Oliveira. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch it. He's out. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be in a case. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. On the hips here. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Gaethje. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he's attacking the triangle. 
Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And that's as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and there's a kick now the body. That one blocked by Gaethje. What a punch. Oh, he got absolutely clutch, and that's as good a combination as we've seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storey. So these numbers aren't official, but they are strong. 108 total strikes have landed for Charles Oliveira. And landing with 58% accuracy against Justin Gaethje. Yes, commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oliveira gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing real looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Jason, oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he got a bad! Now we're just going to end the fight. Check yep. the slick <laughs> movement where he slumped the leg back in the middle. Now he's gonna try to roll for a knee bar. Oh wow, oh! Nicely done. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. fight it landed flush i'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming and before he could recover the referee was in to stop the fight so a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight well, let's take a look back at the replay it ends up a knockout but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it i mean a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight and both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 26 seconds of the third round. He played the winner by of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of time until I get the belt wrapped around my waist tonight. He got that done. Look at him celebrate with his corner. Those guys all believe and he got